So, Dr. Osman, um, what has been achieved in and by the project so far, and mm -hmm. what are the challenges still ahead? Um, uh, basically, the objective of the project was to train the students. What I uh, what I have learned from here, I just want to go back and train the students, and that's why I wrote this proposal, work on it, and designed in a way that students in Pakistan can benefit from him. For example, we have cost for implement uh, uh, co cost for uh, buying few uh, few uh, implements. Mm -hmm. uh, and for that, what I recommended uh, was that we need to have a lab there, and this GIS remote sensing hydrological modeling lab, rather than buy other uh, conventional sort of tools. And uh, within this lab, students can uh, students can work with modern techniques, which are GIS remote sensing hydrological modeling, and uh, so that. The knowledge which I gained from Germany should be transferred there to these students. I did not focus to the students, but I also work with professionals, former organizations, and just meet with them and just to see, exchange the knowledge that I got here. How can it be transferred well in Pakistan? So what has been the main asset of the project? Mm -hmm. That is student, to be honest. That is really students uh, who got uh, MSc degrees. And uh, I also saw that a lot of students are interested in that. For example, uh, firstly, it was designed for five students in proposal. Mm, we got interest of students, so they were seven, and now six more are interested. So rather than training only five students, we are on a wedge to train around uh, seven, uh, th 13 students. So the, the these students now they have um, they they meet with Bernhard Christopher Conrad, Conrad German partners when they went there they have um, communication with them communication with farming community I mean beside the research the other good thing was that uh, we are working very closely to the students to the stakeholders. One of the novelties in this project, in Pakistani terms, was the, the transdisciplinary aspect, so working mm -hmm. with stakeholders and yep. with farmers. Yeah. Has your education at ZEF mm -hmm. yeah. prepared you well for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. completing this task? Yeah, I mentioned uh, in previous, uh, uh, when I was getting this project, I also mentioned that uh, uh, the ZEF has prepared in me in a way that uh, I am not only focused on my desk, but I learned how to communicate with the people who are with other disciplines. For example, my experience in Khorizm was excellent. I met with the different researchers from different disciplines that uh, were from uh, that were from social sciences, from economics, from natural sciences, soil sciences, and uh, then I just uh, talked to them rather than looking straight into my discipline. Now I have this concept, which self concept is to look beyond your discipline. So this really opened new horizons, and then I see what are the social problems of the people when we are going to uh, we are going to implement these uh, tools more tools so how farmers are perceiving these one I mean one thing is that we can simulate few scenarios on computer and just these scenarios are put into shelf but uh, due to the asset the lear learning from self uh, by me from self was that uh, we have to involve farming community professionals uh, stakeholders, all the stakeholders in who belonging not only to different disciplines but to different communities talk to them and then we can go for sustainable solutions you um, interact and communicate a lot with students. Mm -hmm. What are the main concerns of students in Pakistan? Their dreams, their hopes, their aspirations? Mm. <laughs> that is an interesting question. Uh, I just give my example that uh, when we graduate from the university, we are very much interested to study more. Uh, to do MSc, to do PhD, uh, but MSc and PhD in Pakistan is, uh, uh, I mean, um, is little bit difficult. Difficult in a way that you don't have, so, we don't have so many projects in which we can involve the students. So this is just desktop studies are working in the lab. Uh, but uh, but the students are very much interested to go abroad to build their career, stay there. And then and they can, uh, mo mostly they come back and then they can also contribute to their country. Uh, 
so the students uh, within this projects they interact with the um, with co with colleagues from zef my uh, senior colleagues and they discuss their issues and they discuss their uh, how they want to per proceed their um, uh, performance so they are very much looking i mean to um, build their career so this project has that impression on them that there is opportunity they can move abroad and uh, they are no more much more energetic in that Okay, thank you.